Woo. Woo. Uh, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> <laughs> now I can ask that because I actually have her. You do have an audience. Yeah. Came down here to watch some door to door comedy. This is our second stop on the comedy tour. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'll tell you guys some door to door jokes. Then. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, there's a lot of different things I could talk about, but um, I uh, I have this one joke that I kind of rewrote actually a little bit. Oh, it's in the notebook. It's in the notebook because I yeah 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 all right. Um, so my hair was kind of messed up uh, the other day. I guess it is today too, but it was worse the other day, and people were like, "Did you get in a fight? Like what happened?" <laughs> And, uh, so I just told him, I was like, yeah, but, um, you should see the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, <laughs> he's not going to be cutting any grass for a while. Because <laughs> it's kind of hard to cut grass when you're buried six feet under <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it works better the way I, re I rewrote it. Yeah. Um, see, I don't think I've done this joke on here yet. Um, you guys like going to parties and stuff? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Like party people? Yeah, I like to party. Alright, okay. Right on. Uh, they're doing devil horns. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to a party once in a while, um, and uh, I don't know, I've got like a couple of crazy party stories. Like this one is like, I don't know, I got invited to this party, and I went there and like, it was it was a really hot day, so like, it was like today, it's really hot, and um, Everybody there was just getting really thirsty, and for some reason, it's like a, this is a big party. There were like probably four or five hundred people there. Oh, yeah. And I don't know who planned this party, but for some reason, the only thing that they had provided to drink was one bowl of punch. That was it. And so it's hot, people were thirsty, so everybody is trying to get to this bowl. And to make it even worse, there was another line next to that for the salt lake. And I didn't want to make that mistake again because that was part of how I got so thirsty in the first place. <laughs> and um, so I, I made sure to ask somebody, I was like, hey, is this the punchline? And maybe <laughs> that's what you guys are wondering right now too. <laughs> uh, what else should I throw on here? What I got? I got... All right, we got interrupted by a call. Okay, um, we've got a request for a joke here. Uh, do you guys like? Um, you guys religious at all? A little I mean, bit. Theologian. Um, and uh, you guys watch like movies? Tons. Tons, especially right now with the pandemic. Um, do you guys ever watch any movies about like Jesus Christ or anything like that? Some. Some? <laughs> Alright. You like them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Well, because um, I have an idea for a movie about Jesus that, I mean, if I ever got into like the film industry or something like that might be fun to try to make it um and i think for people who are like on the fence like you guys about jesus movies like i really think that this would change that um so basically the title or the working title of the movie is uh he is resin which is a play on words you know he is risen he is resin and the reason for the play on words, third play on words, <laughs> is because um, I'm going to steal the plot from Jurassic Park. Okay. So 
some scientists are going to find a, a piece of amber or resin with a mosquito that they believe was present at the Last Supper. And so they, um, you know, through cloning, they bring back uh, Jesus Christ from the DNA that they find in this mosquito, and they build a whole theme park <laughs> <laughs> where you can go <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and uh, you go through and you look up on the hill and there's Jesus up on the hill and uh, you can watch him eat a goat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what happens after that? Well, um, the power goes out and uh, Jesus escapes from his pen. <laughs> Along with uh, <clears throat> all of the uh, disciples. So basically what you would do is like Jesus would be the T-Rex and then the disciples would be um, the Velociraptors. Right. Except then it would be the Velocirapture. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> you know they'd go terrorizing all the people on the island and you know it, it end pretty much the same way as Jurassic Park does but you know it's Jesus. <laughs> Do you guys want to know how I came up with the idea for that joke? Yes. Um, I noticed how the T and T-Rex kind of looks like a cross. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, see, that's three minutes too, so now, now we're at six though. Okay, well that's the end of my performance tonight. <laughs>